The land in common is roughly a thousand hectares, which includes the summit of Helvellyn, the third highest mountain in England. Helvellyn is one of our most iconic mountains and attracts many, many people walking, climbing, scrambling, winter climbing. John Muir Trust is a, it's an organisation, a charity based in Scotland. We came to Glenridden a couple of years ago. We have a three year lease off the National Park Authority to see if we can add value to what they have been doing. Basically dedicated to the protection and enhancement of wild land. For me the real passion is the land management and particularly the, the conservation of the, the environment and the rare plants and animals. In terms of the English context, it's a really, really special place. The big one is the, the Alpine saxifrage. It's got its only site in England on the, the Helvellyn Bragg range. It's a real niche, niche little plant, but it's of English significance. What we're looking at behind us is a, a stand of junipers. Now this particular stand is one of the biggest in the Lake District, one of the biggest in England, and it is actually fenced to try and promote further growth and actually it's working really, really well. That's thanks to the farmers for uh, engaging with an environmental scheme. And as a consequence of that, the juniper's starting to grow out with the fence as well. So it's a win-win at the moment. So we've just arrived at the base of the Hellbelling Crags at Red Town, which is a really, really popular destination. A spectacular uh, striding edge on the left here, um, squirrel on the right, and then the Hellbelling Crags and the summit itself. As well as being special for its Arctic Alpine flora, it's actually really popular for winter climbers as well. So we've actually got um, a temperature sensor installed on the, on the crags here, towards the left actually, just to the left of, of Viking Butchers, which is a really, really famous ice climb. And we've got this in place, not only for, for climbers so that they can be safe, but also that the Arctic Alpine flora won't be damaged. We have significant pressures on this land holding, as we have across the Lake District in popular areas. That access pressure on footpaths, combined with the weather we have in terms of high rainfall, snow, that kind of thing, it's really important that we protect and enhance where possible.